Venezuelans opposed to President Nicolas Maduro have started gathering signatures for a recall referendum. Under Venezuela's constitution, presidents can be removed from office by means of a referendum once they have served half their term. At this earliest stage of the process, 1% of those on the electoral roll must sign the petition to start the process. Speaking as the signature drive began, Mr. Maduro dismissed the move and said he would serve out his full term. And anarchy. Mr. Maduro was sworn into office on April 19, 2013 and has therefore served half of his six-year term. Thousands of Venezuelans queued to sign the petition in the capital, Caracas. Miriam Leal, 54, told agents France Press News Agency that she was signing to end this anarchy. We don't have medicine, work, education, and on top of that there is the electricity problem, she explained. Like Ms. Lille, many Venezuelans expressed their despair at the country's economic crisis which has seen inflation rise to the highest level in the world. The oil-rich country relies almost exclusively on oil exports for its revenues and has been badly hit by the global fall in oil prices. There are shortages of basic food items and medicines, and long queues form at supermarkets whenever some basic staple foods arrive. A drought has also caused water levels at the country's main hydroelectric dam to drop dramatically. Last week, President Maduro announced that power would be cut for four-hour periods daily except for in the capital, Caracas. And on Tuesday, he said that public sector workers would only work two days a week to save power. The government has blamed the power crisis on the El Nino weather phenomenon and the shortages on an economic war waged against it by the country's elite. Democratic exit. But its critics say years of mismanagement by the socialist government have driven the economy into the ground and that only a change at the top can save the country. Earlier this year, they announced they would be pursuing three strategies to try to oust Mr. Maduro, a recall referendum, a constitutional amendment and popular protests. Earlier this week, the Supreme Court said that a constitutional amendment to shorten the president's term in office while constitutional could not be applied for Mr. Maduro's current term. The opposition is therefore placing its hope for change in the recall referendum. Opposition politicians are also trying to act swiftly as the timing of the referendum is key for what follows. If the president is recalled during his first four years in office, new elections are called. However, if he is recalled in the last two years of his term, the vice president takes over. It is in the opposition's interest to have new elections, rather than have socialist vice president Aristobulo Isturiz serve out Mr. Maduro's term.